The Alliance needs you. I need you. To like and subscribe. Patch it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. All right, so we've come across a different system and immediately we're given a mission. Let's see, just first double check all these other planets. Medallion discovered. Does that mean now we're done with that? Yeah, now we are also done with, uh, well, we still have missing survey team, actually. I never did that one. But now we've also found... Where is it? One of the first ones we got. Yeah, the entire collection found. All the medallions and ID tags. Very nice. But now we have... Lost module. Alliance Command asked you to recover a data module used to gather intel on Geth movements in the Attican Beta Cluster. It's likely the Geth are also after the data module. Well, let's go land on the planet. And try and recover that thing. Toxic Hazard. Alatania appears to be a world eminently suited for colonization. Sadly, appearances are deceiving. It is covered by a verdant carpet of mosses, algae, and lichen, and possesses a thick oxygenated atmosphere, but the animal kingdom is a web of microscopic symbiotic creatures. These are impossible to filter from the air and necessary for the native life to thrive. Unfortunately, they also cause anaphylactic shock when inhaled by non-native life. In short, settlement requires either fully sealed environmental suits or replacement of the entire world's ecosystem. Some have proposed limited colonization at altitudes above the symbiote's range or in areas where favorable winds keep the air clear. Oh, a very nice sky where you can see the stars during the daytime. And the ring around the planet. Yeah, some of this is very straightforward. I'm looking at the map here and just the downed recon probe is there and then we have a debris and an anomaly reading elsewhere on the map. So let's go right there. Well, there should actually be a mineral right nearby there as well. Remember, I'm still gathering those for the XP that it gives, uh, give us us. Large open plains, but no dangers on this planet. I don't think there are Geth here on this planet, actually. Even though they might be after the drone. You would think that they would arrive if they were the ones that had shot down the drone. Gold. Nice. Ooh, let's flip. Nice. Oh, very nice sky. Look at that. Probe is right over here. But you'll see there is something different with it. These are space monkeys. Oh, you can hear fly buzzing, so they're they're dead. They've been for a while. This is the surveillance drone. But where's the data module? A monkey-like creature seems to have made off with the data module. Yes, we're doing this the hard way. There are several places where the monkeys are holed up. There there 
and there. Oh, and there. Up to us to go find which one has the actual data module. I think it's up there. Let's head over there. Oh, I noticed that I'm close to the... Something over here that I can salvage. There you go. There's a different crashed probe. Got it. This one we can salvage ourselves. Nice. Gives us a little bit... A little bit of XP. Show you what those monkey colonies look like. There's one right here. Obviously, one of the ways to get what you want is to kill them. But you can walk up to them and just press search. And then find... Oh, it doesn't have the module. Yeah, there it is, because it's a, like a mine structure. I don't think he's in the mine, I think he's outside of it. No, maybe he's all the way down there, I forgot. Hello, monkeys. Let me see if... Can you go into this mine? Yes. So I assume we have to go down here. Hello, monkey. A medical kit. I assume the one we have to get is all the way at the back, obviously. Video game logic would dictate that. Okay, let's go further. This is definitely set up for like a firefight. Oh, loot. Yeah, I'll recycle all of these. I'll take the XP. It's not you, is it? No. It's one in one of the two back rooms where there's one. You don't have it? What about your friend back here? He dropped the data he module. The data module. It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker can transmit this info to Alliance Command. Oh, the Geth. <laughs> you hear those explosions? Okay, then's down. Did he not make it into the room with me? Is he still at the entrance to the mine? They're closing in. Yeah, give yourself a barrier. Jeez. You've lost your shields, but that's okay. Yep. 
Yeah, good. This shock trooper. The warp for extra damage. Let me use Unity. Kaden. You, uh... Oh, he's downed again right away. You get downed. Get back behind cover. How about... Do you lift from a distance? Snipers are generally a little weaker. Hiding behind cover right here. Both of them. Great. Okay, we got all of them. Oh no, not yet. There's one more. And a warp. That should be the last one. How are you doing, Kaden? Clear. Yeah, that's what I thought. Did see some loot somewhere here? Anywhere else? No. Okay, so we got that beta module, and there were Geth, like we suspected, but we handled them very efficiently. Caden tried a new technique of being a human shield. Now there's only a few things, just one or two things left on this planet. We don't need to stay around for much longer. We don't need to bother with the monkeys anymore because we got our module. There is a mineral over here, so we'll make our way there. And then, of course, that's anomaly. Aiden says he's engaging targets, but do you see something? Not now, Commander. Not now. Okay, you are seeing something. So what are you seeing? I should have a greater detection range in the Mako, but I don't see any hostile activity. I must be getting closer to the anomaly we were looking for, though. Yeah, I see something right there. Look, right over there. Oh, I don't want to fall down the mountain, please. Hell yeah. Okay, I like being on top of this, uh, this whole mountain. I think Caden was just seeing things. Yeah, let's get off on this peak. On your order. Let's get moving. So nothing this time? Okay.
No enemies. Prothean Ruin. This is where something from way back becomes important, which is funny. Maybe you'll remember this. Prothean Ruin, we can recover. Look at that rippling effect. Stand back for a moment. There we go. Recover the artifact. Mysterious globe, examine. Examining the strange protein artifact reveals a small irregular slot on the underside. Remembering the strange trinket you received from the Asari consort on the citadel, you pull it out and place it into the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in the forest, though you are not far from the caves you share with the others of your tribe. There is a pain and a small lump in the back of your skull, as if the chip of flint has been a chip of flint has been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It's unlike the birds you hunt by the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, yet somehow still flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it's watching you, studying you. Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it in anger, and the creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to the caves and the rest of your tribe. You fall into the familiar patterns of life, the hunt for food, the struggle to claim and keep a mate, the battles against each uh, against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is a sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you sharing all you see, hear and feel. At these times, your hand goes to the strange lump at the back of your skull and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder, winter falls. You must range farther for food, clutching the furs tight against you to ward off the chill. It's on one of these long hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it. It's a, it's call a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens on the underbelly, a glowing red orb. You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you and all goes black again. So, an eye... A with a red light, it could be a laser, but it sounds a bit like a reaper weapon. You wake an instant later to find yourself on Elatania, lying on your back, the Prothean artifact looming above you undamaged and your companions standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light and you just sort of toppled over, one explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you've seen. The memories of a Crow Magnon hunter captured by an implanted Improthian data, data recorder. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results at their base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally reply, realizing this is a mystery you will probably never solve. Forget about it. Commander, Caden here. Please like and subscribe.